Welcome back to the show, everyone. Always a pleasure to see our next guest. And when I say he's been appearing on our program since we were all but young babes, I am dead serious. Wow. And he brought proof today. I know. Mike and I have been co-hosting for 15 years, and it was in 1997 that Murray Sawchuk came on our show for the very first time. He is a celebrity magician. You can see him all over the place. How are you, my friend? I'm right. wonderful. How are you guys doing? Good, man. Good. Now, you, you threatened this last time you were on the I show because we were talking about how long we'd known each other. That's right. And I, I had to actually go, go home and find it, and I actually found the VHS tape, <laughs> dubbed it off, and then sent it here. And it's hilarious. I mean, it's, it's what, you said, 97? I, think, yeah. so, I think I was like nine or eight years First old. First of all, for the children, Me too. Uh, <laughs> what is a VHS? <laughs> I know. What is VHS? Now, it's you've always hate. had crazy hair. I'm afraid to look at my hair and Mike's, but here is the footage. Mike and I haven't seen it yet. Uh, the show that we used to do used to be called Daytime. Here is a little retro interview, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Welcome back. Goodness. Hey, it's magic oh time. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing a scrunchie. Oh, what a magician yeah. I am. I know. I'm in the hair. Talk to the oh, head. Okay, boy. we are joined by my a hair true, hair true, true like musician, yours, Murray Sachuk. Welcome to daytime. Welcome. Hey, Thank you. Thank you. Look at our set! Wow! Look at our set! What set? We couldn't even afford glass back then. We had to use cardboard boxes. I could afford hair back then. Wow! How did you enjoy that? Uh, when I, you was, first saw it, I when mean, I well, you know, back in the day, you think, man, we nailed it, yeah. killed. Yeah, and totally. then 15 years later, you go, wow, we were so far from killing it. <laughs> but how but, much do funny? you learn? I mean, in terms of magic and and how good you become, uh, how much does 14, 15 years change? Sort of, uh, you know, how good you are at your job. Well, you know, it's like anything. You know, with experience, you get better. And you always think when you come out of school or when you come out of something right away, you go, I've got it. I've got to figure it out. I yeah. passed the test. I got A plus. And you think you understand until you really start doing it, as you know, until you sit in that seat yeah. and you start talking to the viewers and interview people, you don't, there, every year you get better. Are there know? layers to the onion? I mean, in, in terms of what other people and fellow magicians are willing to sort of let you in on and, and sort of things that you guys talk about? Like, do you have to reach certain stages before guys? Sort of sure, you know, I was lucky. I got joined by the Vancouver Magic Circle, which is the biggest club in, in Vancouver here for magicians. And they took me under their wing when I was really young. You know, I was like seven, eight years old when I joined. Really? And, you you know, I'd, they'd show me a coin trick or an elastic band trick, and I brought some stuff to teach you guys later today. You know, cool. people can learn at home, and these are some things that I learned as a kid, and it's great because um, you go home, you practice them, you stay up till two in the morning because you're so excited. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then you go back a month later and you, you learn something else. So you there's definitely next. a brand of older magicians that like to teach the younger ones. And then you the know, really so. old magicians, we can see some of the, that stuff, some of their props mm -hmm. on Pawn Stars, and yeah. they've brought you on as an expert because you really do study this stuff. What, yeah. what do you do? On Pawn Stars. Well, I got brought on as a magic expert because I was hosting their live shows. So when they're doing meet and greets, I host their live shows. So they said, well, we got some magic items from Houdini on. How much do you know about them? I said, well, I've been in, in it all my life. So let's, you know, let's give it a shot. So I'd, I'd look at the stuff, and sure enough, both the items so far, the handcuffs as, long, as well as this um, straightjacket we brought on. Uh, but I know we're looking at the handcuffs now. Uh, it happened to be real. And they were I was like surprised that you give away the secrets of Houdini's magic. Has that been given away elsewhere already? Yeah, it's in, in all his books, see? <laughs> right. Stuff. So I make sure before I reveal something in, in that sense that it's been written and it's proof because you know he's not around anymore at least you know as far as I know. Maybe uh, him and Elvis are hanging out. How much do you enjoy the the sort of research aspect of it? Because when you watch these on yeah. Pawn Stars, whether it was with the straight jacket mm -hmm. or the cuffs, I mean you really sort of get to go back as well and and sort yeah. of learn some things. I love it because there's things I don't even realize. Like Houdini, even more than a magician. He was one of the best promoters in the world. Yeah. He's the one that said he was the world's best. He's the one that he said he couldn't escape out of anything. It wasn't <laughs> the newspapers. He sent it to them. They printed it. And he'd always do an escape outside of a, I love this, he always did an escape outside of a building that wrote newspapers, like the, the New York Times, so the Chronicle. The so he would do it well, you're dangling building. outside the window. You think, oh, let's interview that guy. He's hanging outside down at our window. Good you do job. the same thing. You go, oh, it's a spectacle. Let's bring him in. And that's what he did everywhere he Before went. Before Twitter, yeah. yes. how do you get attention? Right? Yeah, hanging <laughs> outside down so outside let's the get to the magic. Um, well, yeah. what are we doing well, today? We've got a lot of stuff that we could try. Uh, the biggest question people want to learn is how, well, do you saw a lady in half? They always ask me, of course. Yeah. And do you ever pull a rabbit out of a yes. top? Would you, you know like, the SPCA is here. I realize the SPCA is here. Perfect. They're going to love this. I can see it coming already. But, um, but And I noticed there was a rabbit in the green room, and yeah. it looked like me in the morning. Spiky hair, <laughs> black eye. I think it's called whiskers or something like that. He's in the yeah. green. Anyways. Yeah. So do you guys want to learn how magicians hide their rabbits yes. in the top hat? Yes. Yes. So you're going to give the secret. Very easy. Okay. You don't feed them. Oh. Oh, that's it. Oh, but a 
that's how you do it. Sam. Oh, okay, no, I'm just you. kidding. That was a fake rabbit. Totally, it's SPCA. Fine. Totally fake. Speaking it's handcuffs. Fine. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Um, so, anyways, I brought this along, and I want to teach people at home. It's very simple. When you, well, if you're at home, get a felt pen, some cardboard. When you guys get home, put one dot on this side. Okay, four here, three there, six there, and then we're going to be ready to start the trick. Okay. <laughs> what? So that's pretty. I like you already. I'm very yeah, simple. Yeah. Okay, right? you put one here, and you put four here, three, and then six, and then you're good to go. Now, once you've done that. <laughs> Then we can start. Let's just wait. No, okay. So here's how it works, okay? First of all, you put how many on this side? Four. Four. No, five. So you guys, oh, you got to okay. focus. Okay. Yeah. I two on the top, two on the bottom, one on the right. Okay. Mike, you don't want to put on the right? Yeah. Put on the left. Okay. Ah. I just lost you. Ah. Hang in there. All right. On this side, how many? One. Two. 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 Very easy. Thanks right. for sticking along. One in the middle, one in the bottom, one, or on the top. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. okay. Gotcha. So we have five here. Okay, and we have two here. Now look at this. Don't forget this. You have to rewind the tape, all right? Or if rewind the tape, rewind the DVR. There's my age. <laughs> VHS. Um, yeah. Okay. VHS. Yeah. So here's how it works. You hold the cardboard like this, so it looks like you have one, but you really have two. Okay. okay? Yeah. Then you turn it over here. You say I have four, but really you have five. 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 Turn it over here. You say I have three, but really you have two. two. Yeah. Turn it over here. You say I have six, but really you have five. five. So you have one, four, three, <gasps> and six, just like that. Pretty simple, huh? Uh, now what's really much? important? I mean, in terms wait, wait. There's more. Okay. There's more. Okay. There's more. One more thing. What's important is never to ever move your Hand. hand because you know the things you get excited you got one dog right here. you know or like this you want to hold six you want to look like six like this but you're going to keep it just like that that's very important <laughs> it's very important you know that Wait, same with here what did it looks I like three. six so you want to look like three but it actually Hurry. is three you want to keep it like this that's Hurry. you know what I mean or you just do all eight it's very I mean we'll just we'll, we'll work on, we'll work on it guys we'll oh on my it. god there you go okay we want to get to the next trick you want to try something you're going to teach Michael you something. said you, you were going to teach something? me how to well how yeah to I, trick. I actually brought something up here's a napkin for you okay handle that and I got napkin here. Now just follow along. It's very simple. Um, we're going to rip the napkin. You've seen the old ripped and restored napkins. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we're going to take this so and rip, just it. rip it. Yeah, just follow me along. Yeah. Just rip it like this. Okay. And there's a special little thing we have to do. Um, we're going to roll it like this and we're going to stick it. How, you ready? Am I ripped gonna, enough? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Just put it in your mouth. The whole thing? Mm -hmm. Whole thing in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mike, come on. Mm -hmm. Five year anniversary is mm -hmm. blank. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pull it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what she mm -hmm. said. You know? <laughs> Damn it, I blew mine! Damn it! I practiced so hard! <laughs> I practiced we practiced so in the green you. room! Where did it we go? practiced in the green room. So I, you be the host you and I'll be the magician, you. all right? Here, take that home. Redo. You can practice. There you go, see? Murray, where can people see you? They can see me. Uh, I'm going to be at the Magic Castle July 11th to 17th in Hollywood. And that's in Los Hollywood. Angeles? Okay. Yeah, Los Angeles, Hollywood. And after that, I'll be in Hawaii touring for five, six weeks. So if you're in Hawaii in August, anytime I will be there. But uh, yeah. You seem to tour in the best sunny places, and yeah. that is a good idea. Oh, he's back. He's back. He's on it. He's got it. He's got it. Look at that. See? <laughs> uh, David Copperfield, <laughs> look out. See? I'm Mike, telling you. You, look you can like work at the PE now. See? It's now, see? Not stop. Wonderful. See? Ta da! Wow. See? Now, if your wife saw that five years ago when you met, see, look at Bam. that. I wouldn't have to give her wood tonight. See, hello. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Murray. Well, Excellent. Okay, you go. can also catch Murray on uh, History Channel's Pawn Stars, which is an amazing show. You can also go to Murray's website to find out more about his magic. We're going to take a quick break, and when we return... <sighs>